Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And I, what I do is I just look for undervalued uh, investment opportunities. I pile into it and I hold on. And that's about all you can do. And some of them, they've returned quite a bit. I've, I've gotten pretty lucky. SM Energy has probably been one of my better bets uh, in, the, in the time frame. Uh, I think in six months, uh, I, I did a 13 bagger. And that's that. That's pretty rare. Um, Centennial Development did very well too for me, and and QEP and CPE's done pretty well. Uh, Encore Energy's done very well for me. That's been up five, six, seven, eight hundred percent. Bannerman as well. So that's good. Now I, I was looking through these comments, and one of the comments or questions is, if you could only add one royalty stock to your portfolio, which one would you add? There's two companies that I, I like a lot. And of course you had to choose one, right? Uh, one is Teuton Resources. Uh, Teuton Resources up in the Golden Triangle. They're finding a bunch of gold up there, a bunch. And they've got claims on all the properties up there. Uh, they haven't really been producing much. I don't know if they've been producing from them that much yet. Uh, so all of the value is still there. And I know Tudor Gold's been still looking on their property. Uh, Tutin owns a 20% stake on that one. And I think they're gonna find a lot. So all of these, these, these properties, uh, they've got their hand in it. And I think that's just, I, I think gold's gonna be more difficult to extract in the future. There's not gonna be as much of it. I think it's gonna be priced much higher. And Tutin Resources is a royalty company that has a very good area a very good stake. It's got a bunch of different companies, and when they go to produce from that area, they're going to extract a lot of value, and that, that company is going to have a lot of value, a lot, for its shareholders. So that's one company I really like, Teuton Resources. The OTC is T-E-U-T-F. Uh, if you're looking at it, the Toronto Exchange, I think it's Toronto, uh, T-U-O, T-U-O, yeah, T-U-O. So that's one. Another royalty company. Whenever you get the kind of the first, when you're the first one to develop uh, something, uh, Nova Royalty is one that I really like. I really, really like that company. Uh, they're go they're going out and they're grabbing all these very good royalties from major projects. I don't think you're going to see other companies do that. I just whenever you whenever whenever you're first, they're kind of getting in there and they're getting all the good projects that are left and saying royalty here, royalty here. They're buying them. Uh, from from other companies, so Nova Royalty N O V R F. Uh, it's not exactly a cheap company, but you're going to get all the best royalties, I think, in that company. Uh, so Tutan Resources, because they've got their hands on all that gold up there. I mean, that thing is that thing is uh, a very good opportunity. Uh, I know um, Eric Sprott is very big on Tutan Resources as well. So I think that's a, a great company uh, to play that area with. It's far none the best. And then Nova. I like Nova quite a bit. Uh, just because they're first and they've got a, a, a bunch of good royalties. So those are the two royalty companies that I like the best. Uh, there's a bunch other, there's, not, there, there's a whole bunch other, of other ones that are good to, as well. I own a lot of them. I just, I, I kind of spread out amongst them. But those are my two favorite uh, I like Ely Gold as well, E L Y G F. Bill Sheriff, he's the Encore Energy CEO. He has his, he's on the board of Ely Gold as well. Uh, I just think that guy's a stand up guy. I think he's a, a, a very good individual to be involved with. And I think Ely Gold's going to, they're, they're going to do well. They've got royalties on a bunch of stuff. Uh, so that's another one that I, that's probably my number three uh, pick. So Tutan Resources, Ely Gold, and Nova. Uh, another one says, if you had 10 grand to invest right now, where would you put it? If I had 10 grand right now, where would I put it? Well, I would buy Ely Gold, Tutan Resources. I'd buy Nova Royalty. I'd buy uh, DPLO. Uh, I would buy Laramide, LMRXF. Uh, I would buy um, Gobiax Uranium. Bannerman, BNNLF, and uh, I would own SM Energy, 
uh, CDEV, CDEV, uh, and CPE. So I've got oil, I've got uranium, and then I've got my uh, royalty companies right behind it. Uh, that, that seems about, probably a, I, I could find about 10 grand to soak up in, in those right there. Um, and what I would do is I would, I would invest about <clears throat> uh, 1% to 2%, 3%, somewhere in there, uh, in each of those companies. So let's say 3%. Uh, if you're looking at, uh, remember, you got to manage your risk, and you, I manage risk by portfolio allocation size. Uh, I'm not going to put 10 grand in one company and say, well, I'm just going to let it ride. Uh, another thing that you could look into as well is REMX. That is an ETF. It's the Rare Earth Metals uh, ETF. I would probably put some money in that as well. Um, and they, ha- they have investments in Chinese Rare Earth Metals. I can't, the only way I can access that is through that ETF. So I think that that's worthwhile getting into is REMX. So that would be another one I'd, I'd add into that, that uh, 10 grand. Um, so those are the ones that I would, that I would go into, uh, the royalty companies and the energy sectors. And then you might want maybe like a COPEX, COPX. Uh, that's a copper um, ETF. That's another one I think I'd go into. So COPX, um, REMX, I'd do a, the, the individual companies in uranium that I'd said, the individual companies of, of oil, uh, and then I would do um, those, those royalty companies like Teuton Resources, Ely Gold, uh, and, and Nova Royalty. Yeah, that, that would be a pretty solid bet with 10 grand. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, put them in the comment section. I love uh, love reading them, uh, reading your questions and comments. Uh, thank you for commenting. You guys are keeping it pretty clean. That's awesome. Uh, thank you for that. And if you guys have anything else, just throw it in the comment section. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.